Good evening and welcome to Val and Ed's Adventures. Where are we at today, babe? We are at Port Clinton up on Lake Erie. You can actually see the lake behind us, the boats, we're at a marina. We're staying in a condo up here for the weekend. We're gonna show you the condo where we're staying tonight and then tomorrow we're gonna head over to Putin Bay. All right, let's go. I believe we're right there on the corner. All the boats. There's Kathy, Valerie's mom. Hi. She invited us up for the weekend. Thank you so much for inviting us. around at the condo. It's the TV room with a couch, recliner, TV. And to the left, a couple chairs. Parked. Take you down the hallway. I'm in the kitchen. Valerie's in the kitchen, so we'll take a look at the kitchen. Sink. Cabinets. Sink. Sink. Counter. Big refrigerator. Refrigerator. Full stove and oven and a microwave. Let me swing around and get you a better picture of it. Here's the stove. Table. Here's our kitchen view to the pool. Microwave. Very nice. Now I'll take you and show you the restroom, bathroom. Walk in shower, looks like. Nice. Your favorite. My favorite. Oh. Closet space. Ah, washer and dryer even. Nice. Hello. Now let's go back out and take a look at the bedroom. Ooh, that looks like a king size bed. That's Kathy's. She gets to sleep in king size. Here is the balcony from the bedroom. See a little bit of everything. You've got the marina, you've got the pool, and you've got the lake. Is that the drawbridge right way over there? Looks like one. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I was confused in the opening. I said, you can see the lake behind us, the marina. But really, that's the marina. The lake's that way. All right, that's the tour of our home away from home this weekend. Tomorrow, we'll join you at Putin Bay. So, it is 6 a.m. the next morning, and I failed to mention the place we are staying is Clinton Reef Club. And we uh, decided to get up early to see if we could catch the sunrise, but it's too cloudy today. But there's Lake Erie. Pretty cool. And in a few hours we'll be hopping on a boat to go to Putin Bay. Stopped at the drawbridge. Now 
the drawbridge is slowly going back down. Very slowly. And if you're wondering, there is a guy in the little tower controlling it. We saw him. So before we go to Putin Bay, we decided to stop off and see Marblehead Lighthouse. The old man and the sea. Me? Yes, you, babe. So we're behind the lighthouse right now, and uh, there's areas back here you can walk on to check out Lake Erie and all its uh, splendor. And if I zoom in, you can see Cedar Point way over there. And a boat speeding across the lake. Normally you can climb the steps inside the lighthouse and there's a little museum to look at, but it's all currently closed due to the pandemic, but it was still cool to see. So we just parked at the Jet Express parking lot to get on our Jet Express boat over to Putin Bay and we invite you to come along with us. to put in bay. There is a hole through it. So we're going to the Perry's Victory and International Peace Memorial. 
way up yonder. And because of COVID-19, we cannot go up in it. Wah, wah. But, we will get a good view of the lake. We're going to eat lunch at the Keys Waterfront Restaurant. Here's our lunch. I went with the island tacos with chicken. Comes with chips and salsa. Ed went with the chicken tenders plate with fries and coleslaw. Babe, how was lunch? It was alright. My tacos were okay. My chips were pretty stale. Ed's fries were good. How were your chicken tenders? I liked them. They were really yeah. good. And we also, we didn't show you, but we got conch fritters for an appetizer. It was like fish and onions and peppers, kind of like a hush puppy. Um, they were pretty good. They were probably the best part of the meal for me. We rented a golf cart! <laughs> Just following the crowd to see where everybody else was going and this is where it led I don't know why but it seems to be some kind of a lookout so there you go same road going the other direction back Family Fun Center. There's a miniature golf course, there's a maze, there's a butterfly house, and an underground cave. So there's Fort Amazing. Restrooms. There's your butterfly house. And there is Perry's Cave. I'm assuming this is some kind of gold mining thingamajig. And panning around, you will see like a putt putt course. So we're going to go in a butterfly house and check it out. If you know me, you know I love my birds, but I guess butterflies are going to have to do. So when you first walk in, it's like a gift shop. 
and then the butterfly house is toward the back. You read that, Val? You better behave yourself. Can't take one home. Only my wife is scared of it. It almost landed on me. <laughs> Only my wife is scared of a butterfly. Babe, can I share your blue square? It's my blue square, but you can share. Thank you, but it's an X. <laughs> on the inside. Now the water also drips down from these stalactites onto the floor to create stalagmites, these, right, these great big things on the floor right here. Now usually they're a lot taller, a lot pointier, and sometimes they connect all the way up to the ceiling to create what we call columns, but the prior owner of this cave decided to cut them all down and sell them upstairs for about 10 cents a piece. Absolutely criminal, but luckily he left us with what I consider to be some pretty neat cave art. Now sooner or later the iceberg went away and the gypsum began to erode away and the gypsum began to, you know, stop growing and sooner or later the limestone began to fall out leaving us with this little air pocket right here, our cave. You can see examples of this everywhere throughout the cave, like if you look right here, you can see this dome shape right here, and this jagged edge, and if you look right up above your head, you can see the dome shape, and the jagged edge, and you can see another example of this, you guys will turn around and look at that great big hole right behind you guys, you see how deep that puddle is, and then you see the dome shape right above it. So we just got done with Perry's cave, and uh, if you're claustrophobic, of course, I do not advise. Uh, it's very steep. Uh, Steps going down, very, very steep. And if you don't like bending over for half the tour, probably not for you. I'm six foot tall and I had to bend over for about half the tour. So uh, I guess it was all right, couldn't see much, but uh, yeah, something to do. And I hit my head on the way out. She got an ouchie. <laughs> I don't know about you, babe, but this golf cart is full. It is, definitely if you're coming to put in Bay or Kelly's Island, rent a golf cart. Soon we'll be on a boat. 
back to Port Clinton. We're just sitting here waiting to get on the Jet Express back to Port Clinton. Hopefully we'll get some better views on this trip than we did on the trip here. So we got on our boat and it has three levels on it. Of course we're at the top and here's our view. Pretty cool. Well, as promised, a better view. We close our day from Putin Bay with the sunset. We really hope you enjoyed watching our video. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.